What up, what up, y'all? Alright, it's been a while, but I'm back. So, today, we're gonna do this wiring. We got this wiring specialties harness. I had to shell out the whatever, $600 of this to print out the instructions. There's a whole mess full of junk right there. There's the goods. And I got like this switch handle. Don't know if I'm gonna use it, but I got it just in case. It was like 15 bucks all three bay of course. And there she is. I'll lay it out real quick. Alright, so here it is. Part the connection needs to you. So inside the car and then to the engine. Everything looks pretty labeled. Like we got fuel injector number three, for example. And then TSP1, TSP2, you know, just for example, show how, what you're getting when you're buying this harness. So it's pretty cool. I don't know what this is, but... We're about to find out. Show. You know, I already told me I had problems with this. I guess I don't know what these are, but we'll find out. I won't obviously get it done all in one day, but I'm going to try. Alright, so the next thing is to take out this old crap. Roll that camera footage. Alright, so I got that all out. So you can see a difference between the one I bought and the one I took out. Just a little bit. You can see there's a little different connectors. Well, hopefully these will be a whole lot easier going on and taking them off. Because removing this little clip right here was such a pain. So I guess there's nothing else to do. We'll look at it more or we can just throw it in there. I don't know if it's going on. So I don't know how I'm going to do this. I'm going to try to feed it through the car well by taking this thing off. I don't even know if I can do that. The only way to find out though. Alright, let's get cracking. <laughs>
So here's a couple things that happened. That hole is so small that I couldn't even put the connector for the ECU. So what I had to do is feed all those wires. Dang, it's dark in there. I guess well, no light can go through. So yeah, I had to feed all the wires through this side like that. So I literally had to take apart like all everything. So I got all and you guys like my fender cover. So I had to get all these connectors through that tiny little hole. And this piece right here, I had to literally like cut off a piece of the rubber. So there's no way I was gonna fit that through that little hole. So that was a big pain in the butt. It took two hours to do that. So I'm kind of tired. <laughs> I might go inside and get something and come back out here and finish this another day. But that was a huge like pain in the butt that was done. So I think I'll pick this up tomorrow or another day, whenever. But for you guys, it'll be the next second. All right, so it's a few days later. And it's been raining, so I finally got a break in the rain. So I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do out here. I'll just probably just do the basic connections. And then do the loose ones, like inside. I'll do those probably later on. Whenever I can. Out to the Sensor right here. Oh, get this wire out there. You see how that's like curved inside? And you see how square that is? And it won't connect. Ooh, ooh. Also, the cast. Same way. I got that connector and it won't connect. So I'm kind of mad about that. I mean, wouldn't anybody mad if they got like a harness that that will just plug right in when it doesn't? So it turns out that I had a RV20 Series 2, but I have a RV20 Series 1 wiring harness set up. So, that's why the coils won't connect, the throttle value sensor, the cast sensor, the engine tent sensor, and one other sensor in mean, there. I think it's the idle control valve or the air regulator sensor. It's like back up in here. So now I guess what I gotta do. Yes. Cut and solder. Sucks. This is, is what it is. So I got my little welder. <laughs> my little solder. I got my flux stuff and some solder. And I got a light up. That solder did not get high enough, but it did the job. So I did those four wires, I did these right here, I did that with TPS. What else I do? I did the idle air control valve right there, right there, it's all taped up. And I did the air regulator, which is in there. Starter, I got 
the what is this? The star signal. I got the oil pressure sensor. I don't even know where that is. I got a reverse wire. Come on, just focus. Reverse. Speed sensor. The knock sensors, which looks like a fake fun belt. And then I gotta do the inside. Fun. This book is not having it today. Jeez. I mean, new phone, new camera, whatever. Alright, we'll call it that. It's hot. I'll probably just load this video because it's probably super long. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for the next one. If you like, subscribe. If you have a question, concern, advice, just shoot it down below.